Uh, welcome back. I'm Brett. This is Matt. We're here to talk to you about the Surface Duo 2. Uh, and today we wanted to talk to you about the Microsoft Launcher, which we've touched on a few times. The Microsoft Launcher is the, the skin or the, the, well, they call it a launcher app um, that we run on Android. If you don't like it, you can try another one. Uh, I think at this stage, Launcher is probably the only one that's really optimized for that for two screen setup. I've seen a few people talk on uh, Facebook about uh, trying out other um, launcher apps on, on their Duo 2, most of them come back pretty quickly because most of them aren't really launched that two, two screen, two separate screen setup. But um, um, cool thing about Microsoft Launcher from our perspective, because we work and live in a Microsoft world, is that it's very heavily integrated with Microsoft services. If you are heavily invested in Google, um, in you know, Gmail and all that sort of stuff, maybe it's not the launcher for you. That said, you can connect up uh, things like your mail and your calendar and things like that to Microsoft Launcher, I believe, anyway. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know because we're so heavily invested in Microsoft. But um, yeah, if you're working in Office 365, it's brilliant. Um, we've got direct integration here. on the. If you swipe to the left um, in the Microsoft Launcher, you get to what they call the Glance View. I've got uh, Outlook, so I've got my calendar sitting right there on the, gla on the, uh, on the Glance View. I've got my To-Do List with Microsoft To-Do, which is, of course, tightly integrated with Outlook as well. Sticky notes, sticky, sticky notes, sticky yeah, notes, yeah. yeah. Um, there, so if I you know, want to take a quick little note without waiting for one note to load, it, you know, whatever that one second wait is, um, sticky notes is really fast and I can um, you know, quickly scribble something down. It actually shows up in my OneNote feed uh, back on my desktop. So the synchronization between these devices with, you know, connected with Launcher there is brilliant so that I can have you know, over on my Surface Pro or any other Windows device uh, that note just showing up straight over there, that to-do list integrated together so that I've got that, you know, if I flag an email on my desktop PC that it just shows up in my to-do list yeah. in the launcher. It's brilliant. Yeah, that's very handy. And I, I use a lock screen similar. Uh, I do have the weather widget in there as well because I'm always talking about the weather. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even though you don't live in Melbourne, which is right. the city of the weather in Australia. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the the, uh, the weather app, in, and yeah, that's really handy to have there. Uh, in fact, you can add a lot of different uh, different widgets and, and bits and pieces to, in fact, with a launcher, it is just like any other launcher in that you can have your app icons on the home screens, but you can also have widgets from any app there as well. So um, even if the glance screen on the Microsoft launcher doesn't work for you, and you can customize that anyway, um, you can basically create your own by uh, having a page that's just dedicated to your specific widget. So you might have your Google Calendar widget or yeah. you know, your Gmail widget or something like that on, uh, on a particular home screen. So off to the right-hand side of that launcher, I've got two uh, screens that I use for apps. So I've got my apps set up here. And how many, yeah. I don't use any more than that. Do you use, have you got done more than that? Have you added extra screens yeah. there? I, I think I'm at four at the moment. Um, I do... <laughs> I tend to separate my apps by sort of topic and, you know, I've got some time wasting apps over on the right hand side. On the far right, I've got, um, you know, maybe sort of social media type apps over there and I've got um, you know, my office apps together on one screen, uh, the sort of work stuff. And then I've got sort of my main home screen where I have my clock and, and date and those sorts of things, the weather app, the weather um, widget. Mm -hmm. I've also got um, just those sort of daily apps that you need, things like, um, the Uber app or the, um, the Maps app or something like yeah. that, um, you know, just on that particular home screen, one password, things like that, that I, that I just have there. Uh, uh, the Microsoft Authenticator app that I use quite a lot as well. Um, just yes. have them sitting there so that they're easy to find. Yeah, so you can get quite organized um, there. And the other thing that we've talked about that I love about the Microsoft Launcher is that the, the app listing. So where mm. with, with Android, you have those home screens, you can arrange apps exactly how you want them. Um, one of the things that always frustrated me about iPhones in particular is that there was no organization to the whole thing, right? You just, you know, apps added as you, as you installed them and then you had to go and manually organize them and there was just sort of yeah. no way to see them, you know, at, at a glance, even if you have them kind of disorganized on your home screens. I think they've changed that now, but if um, in the Microsoft launcher, I could, um, you could bring up the app listing and you can have that alphabetically sorted. Um, I've always highly rated that feature and I think it's a legacy of that's how things were on the Windows phone going yeah. back a few years and I always found that was one of the best features of Windows phone just being able to you know quickly see in order a list of all of the apps there. 
You know, it's funny, like sorting uh, sorting things is always a, a top request. In fact, there was a OneNote announcement last night, which means that you can now sort pages in OneNote. Um, oh, uh, that's that. in the desktop app and also in Android. It's been there in, in the um, uh, it's been there in the um, Windows 10 the version Windows for a while. App. But yeah, but so that sorting is something we all want to do, right? So sorting your apps is the same thing. It's been missing from yeah. phones other and than phones Windows typically. Phone, but launches solved it for us. And I've done the same thing with my Android experience. I've always run the launcher skin, and that app sorting is one of the reasons why, one of the main reasons why. So um, I think we should acknowledge just to finish up that the, the launcher experience on Duo 2 hasn't been perfect. There has been a few little weirdnesses there. Um, and I think that some of the problems that um, do come up with the Surface Duo 2 and the Duo 1 are related to the launcher app. Uh, some of them are related to Android and the way it handles two screens. Um, I've had some weirdness, for example, with that glance view when I look at it in either the portrait or I think it's in the portrait mode that it, it tends to do something a little bit weird. Um, in the way it presents the, uh, the column of, of information from the glance screen. I think there's a fair bit of work left to do on the launcher to make it uh, really the best experience on the Surface Duo 2. But that said, I think it's, it's, it's a very handy launcher and it's very usable, especially if you're invested in that Microsoft world. Yeah. And looking, frankly, from a two screen perspective, what other launches are there that are optimized for that right now? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There isn't. Um, yeah, especially with the two separate screens like the Duo 2 has. So anyway, um, I think uh, we'll, we'll wrap this one up. We'll talk next in the next video about using Outlook because mm. Outlook is an app that is heavily uh, optimized for the Surface Duo 2, which is really nice. We've got not only the ability to see things on two screens and really take advantage of the screen real estate, but even things like uh, inking capabilities that are now built into Outlook so that you can use your Surface Duo or your Surface Slim Pen 2 or any Surface Pen to actually handwrite emails and things like that. So we'll take a bit of a deep dive into Outlook in the next video. So if you haven't yet, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell and join us next week for our next Surface Duo 2 discussion.